Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another video review. I am the Tech Gooch, and I am back with another networking product review. In this case, the Netgear Orbi, or Whole Home Wi-Fi System. Um, I have done several Wi-Fi systems or Whole Home Wi-Fi System reviews, and uh, this is just another in that series, um, and uh, another actually really nice one. This one does have some differences, and uh, I do say some drawbacks as well, um, but very few. Uh, so this is going to be fairly quick. I am going to do a setup of you as well in, in addition to this on my Get or my Geek Smart channel. Uh, I will post a card to that as well as a link in the description. That'll be done in the future. So to get started, this, this is going to kind of be a, an overview, but also my thoughts on the whole Orbi system. I've been using it for over a week. Netgear did send me this to show you guys and to go over with you on. Uh, so that said, but I'm going to keep this as unbiased as possible. Um, obviously the box, this is a two pack. It comes with the main router as well as the satellite. They cannot be intermixed. There, there are differences between the satellite and the main router. Uh, so they actually come set as router, satellite. It actually says router. Now you can pull this off. This is just a plastic tap. I put them back on, uh, but they just pull off. Comes with a get started guide. Comes with a ethernet cable, which I already have my ethernet cable set up, so I don't, didn't need that. And it does come with two power supplies, one for each, the router and the satellite. They're, they're the exact same because they take the same amount of power. Um, if Here's one thing real quick. I hate these. They take up too much space on the wall or on, the, on, on your surge protector. I do recommend surging these as well. I really wish if you're going to do a, an outside uh, inverter, put it in line. Get it a standard plug. It's so much easier, especially if you're going to do like a, a battery backup system. This gets in the way really quick. So that's my thoughts on that. I prefer non-bricks at the plug, uh, but that's something small. Uh, so I will say that though. Uh, Netgear guide, I mean, obviously it tells you how to do all the setup. Essentially you can set this up directly from an, a browser, uh, or you can actually set this up with the Orbi app that you can download on uh, Android as well as iPhone. Uh, I did it both ways actually when I, I set it up twice uh, to try both ways and both ways worked fine actually. Um, Orbi app's a little slow, but uh, rather than say like the Linksys Velop system, which uh, is, you Bluetooth to the device and then you work through Wi-Fi, really slow. Um, fine for setup, but it does take a lot while. These were definitely a little bit faster to set up than that. Uh, one of the things I love about these, um, it seems like they have really good antennas, they're really good coverage. Each of them have uh, a four port switch on the back. Now, on the main router, you're gonna only have three local area network switches be or, uh, because the fourth ethernet port is gonna be for your modem or for the wide area network. But the three ethernet ports allows you to even plug in a switch if you need to, to add on more switches, but it comes with three out of the gate. Much better than every other mesh system on the market today. On the satellite, it comes with four. Because these connect wirelessly, you literally have four uh, items that you can hardwire directly into this. There's a sync button that you'll use when you do this setup if you need to. Uh, there is an on off button on both the router and the satellite. There is a USB port, uh, power, and then the reset uh, button. With this one, if, if I was to make a recommendation, get rid of that little reset button with a pin and just get an actual reset button. That's one of the things I've liked on some of the other systems out there. Um, but uh, I do like having the physical power on, power off, so you can power on or power cycle it if necessary. Uh, disclosure, I haven't, ha I did not have to power cycle these at all. That said, uh, I'm gonna get to one of my things that I don't like about them. If I was gonna pick out one item that I really don't like is the fact that these communicate wirelessly and can only communicate wirelessly. I cannot hardwire them together. Uh, it will not change anything. So if I ran a physical line from one of the switches, uh, ethernet ports here to here, it's not gonna use that to connect to the, the two together. Now, from what I understand is there's a possibility that they're working on a software update for that. But as of right now, they are wireless transfer only. And now they do have that separate band that they actually communicate with each other that's very, very fast. If I was to say out of all the mesh systems that I have tested, these are the fastest of any of the mesh systems. Um, it is a two port system. You can add more. Uh, you can actually buy satellites independently. Um, it is 
per module or per node, it is probably the most expensive node system out there from the major manufacturers. Um, however, it is the fastest, so it kind of goes hand in hand with that. Uh, and one of the nice things is you don't necessarily need to purchase an external switch in order to get multiple ports because they both have multiple ports. Um, out of the box, uh, Orbi, very, very nice. During the setup, it definitely tells you if you're in good range in this, there's actually colored lights that light up on the globe up here. And during my setup video, if you actually watch that, I will actually purposefully put it out of range so you can see what that glow looks like. Um, but I will tell you, uh, for all of my testing that I have done, they are the fastest of any of the node systems. I have had some bad luck with some of the other Netgear products in the past. This is definitely the best Netgear router I have ever tested. Um, and one I would have no uh, qualms or drawbacks for saying this is one of my recommended products. If you have a house that does not limit wireless transfer, definitely check out the Orbi, because the Orbi is awesome. It's very, very fast and gets good range and they communicate wirelessly, you don't have to worry about wired. If you're one of those people like me, probably 5% of the market, I don't know, that likes to wire as much as humanly possible, you can't wire these together. And in my house, with the type of walls, that material that my walls are made out of, I could, I had a limited range that I could place these apart because going through like two different walls, it will kill about any wireless signal on the market. Um, so I had to change how I have my house set laid out because the Apple uh, routers, the uh, Eero routers, the Linksys Velop system, all of those systems I could wire together. I could not do that with this, so I had to change how I actually did my, my lineup. If you're a new home or a different home and you're starting out with a multiple node system, fantastic. This is all good to go. So highly recommend checking it out. Definitely check out my video on... Um, setup and everything like that that's coming here in a future video uh but literally two thumbs up if i could give it a star rating i'd have to give it probably four stars in my book because of the fact that i can't wire them together software update that boom i'm already at 4.5 to 4.8 somewhere there because it's really fast and it's really really good so uh that said uh, definitely check them out. I'm going to post a link directly in the description where you can actually purchase these guys. If you do purchase through the link, you are supporting the channel. Thank you very much for all the people that do that. Uh, that said, if you have any other questions or comments, post those below. Uh, like the video, subscribe above. Um, please check us out on Facebook and social media. I haven't been over there recently because I've been just so sick, to be honest. Uh, but now I'm feeling a lot better, so back to more videos. That said... Uh, let us know what you think. Otherwise, we will catch you on the next video. We'll see you soon.